Go to wenzelsfarm.com. Chris, 25 25% off your order. Real meat for real life. That's wenzelsfarm.com. From the Your Boat Club. So hurry in today. This deal is only here. March is on. The 2024 TIAA Big Ten Basketball Tournaments take over Minneapolis as the Target Center hosts the annual celebration of Big Ten hoops. The women's tournament runs March 6th through the 10th, and the men's tournament tips off March 13th through the 17th. Tickets are on sale now, so head to Big10.org for more information. Be there this March as the conference's best teams compete for a Big Ten tournament title in Minneapolis. Watching American Gladiators on Vice. Is that right? Oh, it's the best. So, this is a, this is a visual joke, but we just watched a guy do the uh, the joust against Turbo, and they put up his stats. Some guy named Rob Rob something. I don't know what his last name was. The bank. Brilliant, Ben. That guy was twenty one. Could he have not have? He could have passed for fifty. Yeah, yeah. That was a twenty one year old yeah. mustache. That guy looked like you wouldn't have had to cart him for three decades. <laughs> yeah. And Hawk would love this because I was making the comment that I I remember the hairband era. And this is kind of when American Gladiators was like super popular. Sure, sure. I didn't realize how many guys had long flowing hair. With the Not, perm look, with right? With the perm that look. That kind yeah, of wavy, curly, curly, curly wave, yes. Yeah, it just, it wasn't straight long hair. No, it no, was no. the layered no. waves. Yeah. Oof. It Rob was a big was rocking deal, that. yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, I love Beautiful this hair. show. Beautiful hair. We were just talking off the air again. When you were you know, 11 or 12 years old and no alarm on a Saturday and you woke up and it was God dang near noon and you realized you had overslept and missed gladiators. Why Man. even go on? <laughs> Why? Right? Just somehow start the yeah. day over. Yeah, just right. stay in bed for the rest of your yeah. life. Your Saturday is going to suck. You missed NBA inside stuff. You could have just gone oh. on YouTube. You, mean, <laughs> yeah. you missed gladiators. <laughs> You got nothing to do the rest of the day. I'm not going outside. I miss gladiators. You're right. Son of a bitch. It's such a good show. All right, let's do a fan five, but we're going to turn it into PST. Okay, by the way, that was, uh, this is my cousin Dallas and the song I'm Cool. You never cool artist. told me you had a cousin named Dallas? I do. It's time for fan oh, five, brought to you I'm by Builders and Remodelers. Thanks, Builders, hey, thanks and, Builders and, Remodelers. and Remodelers. Thanks, Daddy-O. All right, the Wild Wings yeah! turn around over the Coyotes. The Wolves play tonight at Portland. Ooh. The Gophers play at number two, Purdue at 730. <laughs> uh, the Whoa, Niners Rosie. fired Steve Wilkes. Uh, the NBA might expand to Vegas, but that's not new news. Von Lundquist is retiring after Rosie. the Masters. Here we go. All right, so the preposterous statement tournament uh, selection show was yesterday. The power trip, as always, pretty well represented. Chris, did you hear if you made it or not? I, or I looked and I did not see you? that I, I saw no, that I did, did not. not make it. You did not make it this uh, year. I feel good about it. Let's go through some of these, shall we? All right. Give her help. Um, Give here her help. here yeah, are yeah. members of the Power Trip Morning Show that made the preposterous statement tournament. We, we'll figure out whether or not we like these quotes. Uh, one of the 11 seeds is Mark Rosen talking about former Vikings running back Toby Gerhardt said he was Christian McCaffrey before Christian McCaffrey was Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> so I mentioned Come this on, on the show yesterday on the preposterous statement selection show. He did this yesterday as well, because clearly there he's just taking a Stanford white running back and comparing him to another Stanford white running back, even though they don't play anything, anything like, not yeah. even close no. to the same kind of no. running back. Toby was a, like a, a bulldozer, right? Yes. He, he, he was, was a downhill, power, yes. downhill. Christian's super like agile and athletic. They're, they couldn't play differently. Yeah. Yesterday on this show, do you guys remember this? Yesterday he said Tyler Newbin of the Gophers reminds him a lot of Antoine Winfield Jr. He did. Yeah, that's that was 24 that. hours ago. So black gopher secondary <laughs> guy reminds him of another black They're gopher secondary guy. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Rosie's just mailing it in Rosie, at this point. Yeah, he's meat sauce. You know? He's meat sauce. And speaking of meat sauce, in that same region, the 10 seed meat sauce asked the question, how do you know you're good at the high jump? It's a good question. How do you know you're good at That's that? Look at Ben laughing. How do you know you're good at that? I stand by Sauce on Thanks, that one. Thanks, man. How in, do what, you know? in what way? Sauce, what, if it's, what if it's just a bunch of people that can't jump high? How Sauce. do you know it's not the tallest man in the short man contest? How yeah. do you think you're good at it? Jumping. Right. <laughs> That's but the how, right but answer. Like, but, like, you know you're good at running because you run fast. You know you're good at football because you catch the ball and you know how to play football. When did you, when did you, 
let me start over here. When were you like, man, you know what I'm really good at? The high jump. You ever tried it? No. <laughs> so Case closed. If you're a runner and you've never run, how would you know if you're fast? You have to? Run. Run. So how do you think you figure out if you're good at the high jump? The high jump's just a weird thing to be good at. Uh, by the way, uh, <laughs> he's doubling down. See, I like, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. believe the quote to have a chance. Uh, Toby, Ge- or excuse me. Um, Reset. Chris McCaffrey has scored 52 rushing touchdowns in his career. It might be more than that. I think it's more than that. Who do you look Let at? Let me start over here. Say, yes, I'm yeah. trying to get stats. For... It's not even about the stats. We're talking about style of play. Gerhardt and Christian yeah. McCaffrey are not even, not even close, close to the same kind of running back. Yeah, he's not even close. He's 52 total touchdowns mm-hmm. rushing. Toby Gerhardt had seven. Right. If you said Still, Toby Gerhardt reminds me of Natron Means, I'd be like, yeah, he kind of does. Sense. Yeah, yeah he, Natron he really... Means whale. Uh, John <laughs> Bonus, <laughs> John, our very own John oh, Bonus, Johnny, Johnny Bones. Bones, is an eight seed. Because he said the miracle on ice was also a meaningless game. <laughs> Are you sure wow. Was he drunk? No. They played the audio yesterday. Yeah, I heard Kennedy it, yeah. played it. Said it was a meaningless game. Yeah. So he hate America? Bony. <laughs> and I, thought, he had, I thought he was kind of patriotic. And he had a lot of reasons for it, too. He was backing it up. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tommy Olsen. Oh, the spotted hyena is a three seed because he said Rihanna has a better catalog than the Beatles. It's close. That's going to pop uh, up in a second again because Maxo's involved. Yeah. Uh, the the my favorite, and it's not even close. I know it's just me, but uh, I saw Power Trip Bets also thinks this is one of the front runners. Mark Rosen, a ten seed in one of the regions, said he used to go to Hooters at MOA because his son wanted to go there. <laughs> Come on. And Rose. then he went on to say that Hooters is a family establishment. Come on, Rosie. So he only went because Nick wanted to go. Yeah. And doubled down and said family establishment. Rose. So I'm walking out at 2 o'clock yesterday as Rosie's walking in to do 2 to 3 with Common. Rosie. And I'm walking by him in the hall and I go, your Hooters quote, that's the one. That's going to win. And he goes, well, yeah, but Nick liked the arcade. And then there's the movie theater on the fourth floor. And, you know, that we used to go uh, before the movie. So, I, like, a lot, you would be surprised. A lot of families Rose. went to Hooters before they went to the movie theater. I'm just saying. I'm like, Rosie, we're off air. Just admit it. Just admit you it. You like yeah. T-Words. Yeah. <laughs> just say it. Hawk, why would you go to Hooters? Uh, for the jugs. See? See? Yeah. It's Hawk not gets that it. hard, Mark. Yeah. yeah, it's for the jugs and a side of wings. <laughs> Yeah. And the wings aren't even that good. Hey, how dare they're, you? They're good oh. enough. Okay. Wow. Jeez. What do you guys have steak in one of them? Uh, Rosie is no, a 17 no, seed. <laughs> Another right. power trip member, Rosie again. Rosie is a 17 seed in the East region when he said uh, that uh, when Shohei Otani was signing with the Dodgers, he said, quote, baseball needs the Dodgers to be good. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That, that one's not that bad to me. That's why it's a 17 seed. Yeah, it's still Rosie. That, that one's, yeah, it's still Rosie. Um, John Bonus is a six seed. This one's got to be close. John Bonus said Shohei Otani would not be an ideal fit for the Twins. I mean, that, that <laughs> how does that, that not win? That could be a winner. How does that and, not win? And what's even better is when you hear the audio, he talks about how we already have a DH in Buxton, and he talked about Otani's place in the rotation. So it wasn't just like an off the cuff thing. He broke down why it doesn't make a lot of sense for Otani to be a Minnesota if, if Twin. Shohei Otani signed with the Twins, let's say this offseason. Before playing any game, he would be the best twin that ever played on the team. I, I mentioned this yesterday on the show, right? People say he might be statistically, analytically, the best baseball player that's ever he existed. Is. Yeah. You could argue it, right? Based on not total numbers, because he's not there yet, but just based on uh, value to the team. But we so, don't need it. So that would be like saying, I don't know if Jordan would fit on the Timberwolves. Right. Yeah. I don't think Patrick I don't think, fits with KOC. Right. Would Patrick I, 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 don't, I, don't, think Mahomes, I don't think Mahomes would I don't, fit in this offense. I don't think Howard Stern could be on this show. Right. <laughs> could Muhammad Ali box Jake Paul? Right. Like, right. I don't know. We're off the top row, Max. Oh, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> in the South region, Max Fuller. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Made it into the old preposterous Rose, statement. Yeah. Yeah. Max had seen Lil Wayne in concert is like seeing the Beatles or Michael Jackson for my generation. I stand ten toes down on that. You can never change my mind on that. Anybody that's my age will say that. Lil Wayne is the quintessential face of music for my generation. <laughs> it's not it's not that bad. He's I, I, I stand with Max a little. It's not that bad. Thanks, Saucy. Yeah.
It's it's not that it's bad. Not, to old people, oh, yeah. I'm crushing my burls. No, nobody better not talk about my beetles. Like, come on. <laughs> Shut up. Sweet biscuits. Shut up. Lil Watch Wayne is up there. You cannot tell the story, the, the history of American popular music without mentioning yeah, Lil Wayne. And Birdman. And Birdman. <laughs> yeah. And Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh Whale. God, your conviction. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Last but not least, I'm uh, in favor of it. Brian Oak joins every Wednesday on this show. And Brian Oak is Brian. a two seed. <laughs> Because Brian Oak said, quote, I think Sauce might be the most important person that works in this entire company. All right, let's... Uh, it's a two seed. Okay, hang on. I stand by that. Um, yeah. You okay? I like when I'm talked about, but uh, <laughs> that's wrong. Hey, babe. I mean, <laughs> you got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got PA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you said him, were you talking about Meat Sauce Corey. Robot? No, Corey. Oh, yeah, Corey. I thought he was talking about Meat Sauce Robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if iHeart had a draft, it's a plus. I would be Mr. Irrelevant. I'm trying. I'd be the last pick. But, oh, no, but you, take, you take this show to the Super but I, Bowl? But I like Okamides. So. Are you making a pizza? <laughs> I could. <laughs> I wish you would. Should I'll I? probably be let go by then. By the time you make a pizza, that's right down the hallway. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm going to get fired in 15 minutes. Genius. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You know who loves this band? Garlar. Garlar. <laughs> See? Thanks, buddy. You know who loves this band? Um, Smear. Ski Club Pat. Oh, yeah, same guy. You know who loves this band? <laughs> Rosie. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> you know who loves this band? Uh, <laughs> Why is Luke just Doc. Luke, by the way? Scene Bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know who loves this band? Uh, scene Bear. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, please show me a more. Um, just hit Luke again. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> that one makes me laugh. Give hot ass Randy. Hang on, hang on. You know who loves this band? Hot ass Randy. Dove. Oh. <laughs> you know who loves this band? Ooh. My grandpa. <laughs> you know who loves this band? Who? A guy who used to come into the cigar shop. <laughs> 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 so stupid. That's yeah, a home run. Most important person <laughs> at yeah. iHeart is yeah. meat sauce. Not replaceable uh, in any way. No. One more time. One more time. <laughs> okay, hang on. You know who loves this band? Luke. <laughs> uh, Power Trip Bets yesterday has odds. Oh, man. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, sad about it. <laughs> Luke. Luke. Odds. Um, John Bonus is your favorite with Otani. Wouldn't fit on the twins. Yeah. Five to one. Yeah. Pat Micheletti said Kaprizov's injury is the best thing for him. Yeah, I don't think that can win because Tommy won that in the past with Mo Ibrahim. Six to one. There's just there's too many quotes that have been exactly like that. Can so I make Pat's, one more point? Pat's can't. Pat is not going to win. It sounds like somebody just went up to Meat Sauce Robot and said, "Guess which one of your kids have been arrested?" Right, <laughs> Luke. You know who loves this band? <laughs> who? Luke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Craig Kilborn eight to one with Cat isn't whiny. Yeah, and oh then at God. ten to one, say that? Brian Oak said Sauce is the most important person. Uh, Where did he have Rosie's quote about Hooters? Uh, <laughs> Twenty-five to one. Yeah. So what are the number ones? Do you have the list of the number ones? Yeah, give me a second. Well, Dave Schwartz is, is going to be Dave. Dave has a chance. Yeah, Dave. Yeah. So the uh, number one seeds in the North Region. Dave Schwartz said. Ethan Kaliak Manis has a little Pat Mahomes to his game. Yes, I said that. Yes, I meant it. Ooh, come on. So he compared Ethan Kaliak wow. Manis to Pat Mahomes. That's one of them. That's definitely a number one. Uh, Gabe Henderson. See, again, this is what we're talking about with Pat Micheletti. Gabe Henderson said, I believe with Justin, uh, with Justin Jefferson being injured is probably the best thing that happened with Kevin O'Connell's career. Come on. So it's one of those, like, yeah. he's going to have to yeah. adjust and get yeah. better. It's like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. This one's long, but uh, Sean O'Hara from Good Morning Football. I'm going to read it, but they had the audio of it. On Tom Brady retirement, um, the uh, actual announcement, people remember where you were when JFK was assassinated. We remember where you were on 9-11. I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember who I'm with. Kyle's going to remember he was in Vegas. You're going to remember where you were when Tom Brady announced his official retirement. So wow. basically said it's like 9-11 or 
JFK. Yeah, you can't I mean, do that. We got some heavy hitters yeah, for the number one seed. Yeah. <laughs> the last one, the last one's pretty fun. Again, this one also has audio, so I'm just going to read it. It's not quite as funny if you just read it as opposed to hearing it, but it's still pretty good. So something called Anita Marks said, quote, the Dallas Cowboys don't play well on grass. I host a radio show here in New York with Matthias Kiwanuka. Talking about it yesterday, he actually said a big reason why allergies. When you play on turf and then all of a sudden you go out and play on grass, you're down in the grass, wiping your nose, rubbing your eyes. That's why Dallas struggles to win on grass. Come on. <laughs> ben, your thoughts? You've played on grass. Uh, that's preposterous. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But yeah. not as bad as Rosie saying he just went there because Nick liked yeah. the food. That's the yeah. funniest one. He if left you, out the fact that Nick Nick was 21 when he was saying that. Probably. <laughs> yeah. And wasn't Nick liked with the him. arcade. For sure he did. God, Rosie. He just... Yeah. I believe him. Butts are sawweed. Yeah, thanks, Meat Sauce Robot. Nice slabs kick ass. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hawk, uh, can I ask you a question, Chris? Of course. Who watches 911 Lone Star? <laughs> Luke. Luke? <sighs> you. Luke. Yeah. Oh. Uh, headlines is next. Power Two Morning Joe on the fan. The fan and the Big Ten want to help you win one thousand dollars. Listen weekdays to win. This burrito with six strips of bacon, seasoned potatoes, fresh cracked eggs, and more. All in a... March is on. The 2024 TIAA Big Ten Basketball Tournaments take over Minneapolis as the Target Center hosts the annual celebration of Big Ten hoops. The women's tournament runs March 6th through the 10th, and the men's tournament tips off March 13th through the 17th. Tickets are on sale now, so head to Big10.org for more information. Be there this March as the conference's best teams compete for a Big Ten tournament title in Minneapolis. Some of you missed out on that. It's even better this month. Three rooms for 119 and a free hallway. And also, uh, if you mention KFN, you can knock $75 off any air duct cleaning package. So why not uh, do both? Knock it out so all that stuff that circulates in your air duct system it doesn't fall back into your carpet anyway. Now, they, they can clean, uh, what, rugs, upholstery, tile. They can do all that. But specifically, save some money by mentioning KFAN at 9520-RES when you call about carpets or air duct system cleaning. It uh, doesn't matter. Again, home, cabin, business, 9520-RES or online anytime, like right now, at ZeroResMinnesota.com. Have you saved more than $500,000 in an IRA or 401k? You may not know it, but you've got a problem. And that problem is taxes. Because when you withdraw this money in retirement, your tax bills could be staggering. But guess what? You have more control over these taxes than you know. Learn how you could dramatically reduce your taxes with a retirement tax smart analysis from Joe Lucy at Secured Retirement. You know, Joe's a certified financial planner, and he's been featured in the Wall Street Journal. If you've saved more than $500,000, schedule your retirement tax smart analysis by calling 952 952- 529-4310. Take advantage of these tax planning strategies, and you could save yourself a fortune. Call today. Here's the number again. 952-529-4310. That's 952-529-4310. You're free now. Free to stream beyond your wildest dreams. Free to be everything you imagine, and then some. That's how it feels to have quantum fiber. Your world unleashed. Learn more at quantumfiber.com. Limited availability. Service in select locations only. Hey, it's Corey Crow Power Trip Morning Show for QC Kinetics. If you are dreading the idea of surgery, but uh, it looks like that's where you're headed because you've had somebody say you're going to have to get surgery when it comes to these aching joints, whether it's your knees, your back, your shoulder. Uh, before you do something drastic like surgery, the one step you got to take is calling QC Kinetics because they have regenerative medicine. They are the nation's leader, and they can help you get up and moving in 2024 by repairing and restoring that damaged tissue. Like I said, knees, back, shoulder, doesn't matter if it's arthritis or injury related. Uh, why not find out by getting your free consultation if QC Kinetics is right for you? There's no steroids, no drugs. This is a non-surgical procedure, and there's no downtime. Doesn't that sound good? You can be get uh, right back up and, uh, and moving. So they have harnessed 
uh, your body's own natural ability to heal itself uh, to get that uh, damaged tissue restored and repaired. That's the key. So call them today. Get this set up. 612-254-7123. QC Kinetics is 612-254-7123. That's 612-254-7123. Let your child play like a pro this spring and join Vikings NFL Flag Football. Vikings NFL Flag is no contact, easy to learn, and fun. Teams are available for girls and boys pre-K through 8th grade in several locations across Minnesota. To sign up, visit vikings.com slash flag. That's vikings.com slash flag. Registration closes March 3rd. Let's play together and win this spring with Vikings NFL Flag. Vikings.com slash flag. Skull. Everybody is made to shine. Shane Company, fine jewelry since 1929. You're listening live to The Power Trip on iHeartRadio and FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. Uh, Good morning out there. One of the dudes uh, from down the hallway just told me that uh, uh, we got seven inches of snow. Really? Really? It didn't look like it anywhere near that at my house. Is that right? Seven? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Seven. It was a, it was a scary drive in. My car almost fishtailed a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. I was going like thirty down a hundred. Yeah, I would have hated you. Well, I'm in the right lane. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it had nothing to do with your driving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robin's racing, right, Hogs? A Delta flight from Amsterdam to Detroit was filled with some unwanted stowaways. Maggots. Fell onto disgusted passengers from an overhead bin while in midair. Oh, that's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, somebody had, oh, oh, I don't even know if I could read the rest of the story. It's so gross. Somebody was, for some reason, had some fish in their luggage. Oh. Oh. So you said Amsterdam to Detroit, right? Yeah. And they're two hours in. So if you're two hours in, are you already over the Atlantic at that point or not? Uh, yeah. Yes. From so Amsterdam, you definitely are. So if you're if you're two hours in and you're over the uh, Atlantic, uh, oh, did they turn around and go all the way back to Amsterdam or where did they land? Not for maggots. No. Uh, not for maggots. I bet. Because they turned around. Did they? Yeah. The story I read is that they turned around two oh, hours maybe you're in. Right. I, huh. <laughs> do you do you have to go back to the place you started or do no. you land at the closest airport? I think the closest one. I think you land at the closest airport. Where's yeah. that story? I read it this morning here. Hang uh, on. Two hours flight. I, I found out there's rotten fish and maggots. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, um, all, the, all this story says it had to turn around two hours in. So I don't know where they landed. My God. I, you know, Ugh. I mean, I would be very grossed out. In fact, there's not enough water in the ocean to make me feel clean ever again. Yeah, correct. But uh, keep going. <laughs> I, I want to get where I'm going. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. You know, I'll de-louse myself. And- <laughs> oh. Shave well, you, every hair. They off went my back body. to Amsterdam, by the they way. They did. Oh, oh, you man. know what? That ain't so bad, though, now that I think about it. Drop me off in the red light district. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't possibly get any dirtier than I am now. I'm covered in maggots. <laughs> uh, I might uh, as well be covered in crabs. There's well. probably some there, you somebody there in the red point. light district that, that really likes that. Yeah, probably. You know? Ugh, That's grody. their thing. Grody. The uh, passengers were given 8,000 air miles, hotel room compensation, and a $30 meal ticket. Oh, come on. $30 meal ticket? Uh, how, is that a lot of miles? Uh, um, can you, like, get a free flight for that kind of miles? I, I really don't know. I'm asking. You can get, well, bags are, if you get, if you want to buy a bag with miles, it's 3,000 miles. Uh, so it's probably not down, that, much. that much. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's probably $60, $70. Luke. 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 <laughs> you know who is really good at darts? I'm going to guess. Uh, Luke. He is. <laughs> he is very good at darts. ATDs? Oh, Maybe. Probably. Never go late. Now it's time for Headlines. Brought to you by our friends at Wolf River Electric. Thanks, Wolf River Electric. Go solar with our friends at Wolf River Electric. It's a great idea. Go solar. All right, so Chris, you and I have seen bullfighting before. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I hope it never yeah. happens again. It's the hard worst. To watch. It's hard to watch. It's just terrible. Yeah. You ever seen a band? No, I've seen it on TV, it's, and I don't really get it. it I, don't, I don't get the whole yeah. purpose. It sounds yeah. terrible. Yeah, it's awful. I don't know how you can do watch that. that and not have your stomach churn. Even if you're yeah. not like a, uh, you don't have to be a PETA fan, right? A Even PETA stand. Bull, just don't right. like yeah. socks, It just right. doesn't feel fair. Anyway, really long story longer. I don't think this is the case. I think this is just a random uh, bull because this happened in Florida. How about this for a twist? Back in November, a lady in Florida got gored by a bull. Mm -hmm. It's hot. That's terrible. Yep. Unless she was 
you know, doing bullfighting stuff. She got oh. gored by a bull. Oh. Had to go to the uh, hospital, obviously, because she got gored by the bull. The guy from Night Court? <laughs> yep. Did they, did they say where watch, she got gored? You'd watch that. Well, wherever they uh, had to look, Ben, based on where she got gored, the scans at the ER spotted lung cancer, and it saved her life. Oh, wow. wow. Well, he was trying to get it out of there. It's the best yeah. thing that's ever happened to her. In a weird way, it's it the really best is. thing that ever happened yeah. to her. If she doesn't get gored by the bull, she might have died of lung cancer. Was, yeah, the I bull, stand by that. The bull was literally saying, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got no fingers. Man. Man, that's pretty weird. That hoops. is pretty weird. What a, what a thing, right? Somebody in Chicago has been going around cutting down those little free library boxes Aww. in neighborhoods. Why? Why? You know, the little, uh, yeah. little libraries. Little free library. Yep, yeah, you, man. you take a book, you drop off yeah. a book. Somebody's just going around cutting them down. Why? What a D word. Yep, that's that's not nice. No, probably not a really good person. Yeah. It's that damn bull again. Yeah, damn it. Reading's bad for you. You guys have probably seen this on social media, but a Minnesota library created a limited edition library card featuring a laser loon. Yep. And everybody's losing their minds trying to get them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Have you, have you guys not seen it yet? I've so seen it, yeah. That's yeah. cool. It's one of the um, oh, yeah. the goofy ones when they were looking for the new state flag, which is atrocious, by the way. Um, it, oh, it, hit, it hit the cutting room floor, and they're like, oh, yeah. we should use some of these, uh, these throwaways. Yeah, look at that. Laser loon. It looks like a superhero. Like... Like, uh, what's the the bad guy on that one show where they're Cyclops? all... Cyclops? Uh, superheroes, and they're bad. Yeah, uh, they Homelander. Homelander. Homelander, yeah. No, the boys. Oh. Sounds like a northern Minnesota radio station. Homelander. The Laser Loon. Oh, yeah, it'd be cool. <laughs> Coming up next on the Laser Loon, we're going to do some Motley Crue to get tickets to the <laughs> County Fair. Hawkman and work there. Speaking, sure. of, speaking <laughs> of Homelander, while your lovely wife... Kel sauce is watching Ma- Vanderpump. Yeah. Oh, Would God. you just go in the other room and watch the boys? What are you doing? And that's not a euphemism. Yeah, don't tickle the boys. This watch is your yeah. show. Yeah, don't put the baby to bed. Sauce. Don't put the baby to bed. Doesn't take long. Nudity, swearing. Man. Superheroes, violence. Somebody wrote this it's for great. you. It, it's you would love this. I don't know why I haven't this watched is, yeah. this. This is because it. Corey wants you to. Maybe that might be it. It might be it. I have no, that same but problem. Give it like <laughs> no, but the Americans I watch because of you. Masterpiece. Uh, that one fireman video you wanted me to watch, where all the firemen rescued each other. I watched Think that. Please. Masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, that was you. You mailed me that Master a couple of times. Oh, did, speaking of that, did you? Watch the thing I sent you. Uh, yes. Stop doing that. No, it's I'm not convinced. You know what's crazy? But the mean. thing about the boys is, on paper, I should hate this show, yeah. right? But it's so much fun. I love it. You're gonna love it. Oh my God, All right. good. You're well, gonna like it more than I like it. And I love it. The first episode. Yeah, I've seen yeah. the first three episodes. Keep going. Well, it, it, then, it might be the best superhero what? thing that's ever been. It's is so it much better fun. than Madam Web? Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> oh, you, may, you may have just. You may have just Mark. reminded me of what because I'm flying to Hawaii what? next week. Mm-hmm. I want something to watch, some something to binge, and I can't watch. Sash, you have to do this for me because I can't watch the boys at my house, right? Because yeah. I have too many boys and right. too many kids around all the time, right? Right. Not so I gotta find at all. Not appropriate. Not, not, even, not, not all. even a little bit. Same thing what, with that new one that they. What, what's the spinoff called? Gen, Gen V. Yeah, yeah that's even worse. Even honestly. worse. Yeah. Even dirtier. What show was it that your wife was gonna watch? Was it? Uh, Big, big mouth. mouth, yeah, big. Yep. Mouth. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. She got yeah. about three minutes in and turned it off. Realized, yeah. whoops, this yeah. is not appropriate for kids. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll watch it. You're gonna freaking love it. Yeah, I've seen. All, all right, I'll watch it. And Homelander is one of the best bad guys in the history of television. Is everyone here? Such things? an a hole. I got nothing to do, so I'll Aww. watch. It. That is accurate. But oh, without golf, hey, I don't. Do you remember this at all? There was a video game based on the TV show Home Improvement for Super Nintendo in 1994. No, there wasn't. I don't remember that no. at all. But check again? this out. In, according to the story, in 1994, there was a Super Nintendo game based on the TV show Home Improvement. But check this out. Power Tool <laughs> Pursuit is what it's called. It didn't come with an instruction manual. It just said, quote, real men don't need instructions. I wonder what that's That's kind of awesome. Uh? That's got to be worth money. Home Improvement video game. I don't remember that. I at don't all. remember that. I don't no. know one person. I never watched that. that show. I didn't either, really. So I, I, I don't mean, think I've seen that. It, but no. Yeah. I mean, time, baby. You you fight dinosaurs, acid spewing mummies, robot sentries, and other enemies. None of that sounds like the actual. We're for like two hundred dollars on any of that. Yeah. Um. Real quick, Ooh. I played Matt Carney coming back from break. He's at oh, Udipulse he's today. He's, he's great. Yeah, for City 97. Oh, he's great. He's great. He's, great yeah. he's got new songs, apparently. Thanks, AJ. I did not know that. 
Sauce, this is for you. A new scripted series about serial killer John Wayne Gacy has been ordered at Peacock. What? Scripted, right? Scripted. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll probably watch it. But John Maybe Wayne Gacy probably. Sucks. What? Yeah, you'll watch well, yeah. it. Of yeah. course you're going to. Yeah. Which of the serial killers don't suck? Well, they all suck, but like the, the Dahmer thing I never watched. Oh, dude. The, the really? One, no, I heard How no. Did we, we talked about it all the time. No, I never watched it. I don't it. understand you. Because Dahmer and The Boys are two shows that, again, were written by God yeah, for you. Right. <laughs> Have you ever seen the show called Meat Sauce this. Paul Lambert? Yes, you don't need to put your hand up. We're talking to you. Paul, yeah. your hand up. <laughs> 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 Genius. Okay, what? I'm just saying, what? There, there, there are people that are sitting at, in boardrooms for these streaming services going, there's a there's a demographic out there that really that loves like this, this, really loves that. They're talking about you. They're okay. making these shows the, for exactly you, and you're still not watching them. The Dahmer scripted show yeah, great. I didn't watch so because good. so many people said how terrifying it was. Well, yeah. I don't want to watch that. I don't like to be scared. I don't like to be scared. Uh, but like the Ted Bundy tapes bit, he's dead. <laughs> I mean, so is Dahmer, I guess, but like, what, what, you, I don't know. Your, I got logic. Uh, is, there's it's, no it's logic. never good. No. Okay. Calm down over there, beady eyes. Hang on. We're all mad. Beady <laughs> eyes over there doesn't like when I ask if people are horny. What? What? <laughs> what, Dahmer? What? Yeah. Beady I'm, eyes over there. No. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I'm just saying that I haven't seen. But like, if it's real, the other thing too is when it's scripted, it's not as. It's just not the same as like the like the Ted Bundy tapes bit where it was like an interview with him. That was great. Well, or what the, about that, that show where the dude is the really big, tall serial killer, and, and we loved that show. That's scripted, though. Yeah, and you loved it. Yeah, I don't know. I got weird standards. I just don't like to be scared. The Dahmer thing sounds too scary. I'm out on that. Yeah. I don't want to see that. Okay. Ugh. Okay, buddy. Isn't it scary, though? Sorry. You Even you said, Hawk, there's like a yeah, couple of no, scenes it, where it's like, ah, I can't. Yeah, it's tough to watch. Yeah, I'm not watching that. You, you watch all those videos where these pizza delivery guys stab all these lonely housewives. Yeah, none of that's scripted. And none of that's scripted? <laughs> yeah. Being scared sucks. Yeah, being scared sucks. Being scared. Being scared. Being I don't scared like beans sucks. either. Beans Life. are terrible. Don't scare me. What about yeah. Mr. Bean? Yeah, he's all right. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, Ben. Yeah? This is brand new Matt Carney. It's called just, Headlights Home. I already like it. And he sounds just like Michael Shines. This sounds like a Michael Shines song. Would you have Michael Shines on your TV show, please? Yes, we will. We need to make him a huge star. He's great. Can you He's connect really me? Good. I will. Okay. Man, this guy's good. I like Matt Carney. We need to get we need to get Carney on the show too. Yeah. We also need to get Molly Shannon on this show yeah, for Marnie. Working on it. Molly Shannon is joining season four of Only Murders in the Building. Really? Does she want to promote it? Would she like to promote it? Is that it on a good show? show? People I, I, love it. I've never seen it. People do love it. I've, I've, I've not ever watched it. I don't know why I love both those guys. You love murders I don't like and you've been murders. in buildings before. Yeah, I got no interest in that. None. I find her charming. What's her name? Molly Shannon? No. The other lady? Oh, uh, Selena Gomez. Yeah, I find her charming. Is that the right word, do you think? Sure. Okay. Sure. That's not the so word I would have guessed you were going to use? No, that's not the word you would say off the air. Yeah. Let's see. You don't care about that. Nice retort. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two kids from Colorado were just awarded the first ever athletic scholarships to play D1 pickleball. Video games. Sumo. Two kids from Colorado oh, were just awarded the first guess. ever athletic scholarships to play Division One Ultimate Frisbee. It's not video games? That's not bad. No. Lacrosse. No. No, they do that no, a lot. Yeah, they do. Yeah. What's that, that new game that is not tennis, but it's like smaller? Pickleball. Pickleball. Did you say that? But, nope. Yeah, I said that, Daddy. That's a nice point. retort. Lightsaber fighting. Oh, that's um, not bad. Yeah. LARPing. Great, great film. Tickling. <laughs> Sack. <laughs> oh. I don't have an answer. Oh, arm on. wrestling. Hold on. We Weed can rolling. arm wrestling. Weed rolling, not bad. Oh, good answer. Good Joint answer. smoking. I'll give you the first initial. By nope. the way, initials tomorrow at 815.com. Tom's playing. He's Can't dead. Uh, the first initial is C. Hawk, don't say anything. Crab walking. <laughs> Carpentry. Crumping. Like the Lord. Like crumping. Like Carpet dancing. munching. Whoa, Jesus. No, I got a D1 scholarship. Oh. Yeah. These guesses are worse than I thought they would be. All right, hold on. Start with you gave C. us one letter. Uh, crappy fishing. Crappy. Crabs just shooting dice. 
Oh. It's all Dante Ro- was doing. Rolling bones. <laughs> is it specific to Colorado? Nope. Hawk, help You've us probably out played it a billion times. Oh, uh, and I can't Cribbage. Say that. A lot of people here use the, uh, it's the same game, but it starts with a B in Minnesota a lot. Bitchin'? Bags. Bags. Cornhole. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Bags and cornhole. Bitchin'. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I bitch a lot. Guys, D1 cornholing. So Hell yeah, Dad. Sorry, sluts, I got to go. Bye, man. I love you. Love you guys. I won't month. see you for a long time. Yeah, I'll see you in a month. From today. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you guys. You, the next time we'll see, this is for the listeners so they can help us remember when yeah. Ben's back. You're back on Leap Day on the 29th. That's right. You will be yeah. back on Feb 29th. I will, I will be landing from Hawaii at 2 p.m. the day before on Wednesday. Internet. We uh, we added a day for Max. Uh, Black History Month extends one day oh, this month. And you will be oh, wow. here to celebrate it. My make wish finally came through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have fun, buddy. Bring in some soul food, will you? Okay. <laughs> everybody be cool. Yeah, everybody be cool. Be yeah. cool, be cool. Yeah, well, when is Have your fun, month? Buddy. I want I need some fried rice. I, we don't get a month. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. get an anthem. We don't get an anthem. Oh, I, I I need to dispute that anthem though. I, I need to know what where, where was the secret I, black people meeting that we decided know, that was the I, anthem. I, I, I want something oh, else. Yeah. Yeah, Lil John should be the anthem. You want Lil Wayne to have the uh, he should the anthem or Lil John. Uh, okay, got to ride. Bye, I love you. There he goes. All right, Ben. Oh. <laughs> you guys remember Rachel Dolezal? Yeah. Oh yeah, the legend. Speaking of Black History, yeah, she was the guy that <laughs> pretended to be black. She had oh, a teaching yeah. job in Arizona. Oh, good. Until they found out about her OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, oh, not anything else. That She's she in did? the news again. Uh, Paul, your what hand the is hell up. How was she teaching? Wood? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hockey. <laughs> Great. With hockey? Yeah. She's hockey. famous. Well, it's, he says she got fired, kinda, right? That's what he just said. No. Didn't you? Didn't what? you say she, she got fired, she got for fired. The she said, yeah. yeah. I said she had a teaching job oh, in Arizona had. until yeah, yeah. she had the keyword, until they uh, found out about her OnlyFans. Well, that's dumb. Woodhawk. I probably would, just, yeah, because you, know, you get multiple flavors. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I'm trying yeah. to be cool here, man. Yeah, you ask me questions, sure. I try to answer, you get mad at me. You for sure would. Twist flavored. Yeah, what? twist of a flavor. <laughs> twist of flavor. <laughs> twist of a flavor. <laughs> twist of flavored. What? I know. We're, yeah. all, we're all confused. Yeah, we all know, little John. <laughs> a 26-year-old man in Michigan broke into a county jail with a knife. Oh, that's broke not a Broke into, yeah. not out of, broke into a county jail with a knife. And then began to break into an ATM in the Bond Lobby area. James. Okay. Gets a little weirder. James? That's his Bond joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I missed it. I, I thought, James? Like, <laughs> I don't know what, what you mean, great? but it had the cadence of a joke. Nice uh, good. Tart. So what? corrections deputies saw him <laughs> and then called police when they noticed that he had a knife. Uh, unclear if he was using the knife to intimidate people or just to try to break into the ATM. Yeah. Either way, here's the best part about being a dumb criminal. They trapped him inside by locking the exterior doors electronically, which was possible because it's a jail. Yeah. So he tried to go into a jail and rob an ATM, and they just automatically locked, locked the yeah. doors, and he was caught. So yeah, the, the cops man. came down the hall basically and arrested him. He was escorted into the jail, which was down the hallway. Yeah, come on. Stay right there. It doesn't say in the story. Doesn't he have to be on drugs? I mean, how can you be sober unless you have mental problems? But how can you be sober and mentally clear and try to rob an ATM out of a jail? It's got, I, let's let's cross our fingers and hope it's meth, right? Pull your hands up. No, I was just crossing my fingers. So oh, that was a weird way to hold both hands up like you were Richard Nixon. Yeah, oh. <laughs> like, I'm not a crook. My fingers are crossed. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but my fingers are crossed. So yeah. I am a crook. Uh, yeah, dot com Tom tomorrow, by the way. Again, seven to nine. Mm-hmm. Not only is, is he going to be a uh, a handful in initials because he's very, very, he's very, very good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sauce with a win tomorrow. All time wins leader. Let's he's go. tied yeah, with that AJ. That took a long time. You that win just tomorrow. Just how good he was at it. Yeah, you win no tomorrow, doubt. you're the all time wins leader. But uh, I said seven to nine because, again, dot com Tom was in Vegas for over a week. Can you imagine? How many people he ran into, famous people, stories that he has about yeah. being at the Super Bowl in Las Vegas for in almost a full week. Side information on what the Vikings might do. Maybe. Man. That's the kind of fame that Dot Com Tom has got that is pretty incredible if you're thinking about it. Yeah. Because everybody watches the NFL Network. Yep. Like 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 yeah. President Obama, LeBron James, eh, you know, everybody has yeah. seen his face. Well, yep. he, we were just Isn't talking about some... how cool it is that Troy Aikman knows who Ben Lieber yeah, is, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Our little dot com Tom. Yeah. 
even if they don't know him personally, right? When Jerry Rice gets interviewed by Tom Pelissero, Jerry's probably like, oh, hey, Tom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if it's the first time they've right. met, Jerry Rice knows who you are. Yeah. Right. I saw him standing on the sidelines with Paul Rudd. I want to ask him about that tomorrow because Paul Rudd's a big Chiefs fan. Yeah. Paul Rudd probably was like, hey, Tom Pelissero from the NFL Network. Yeah, right? right. Paul Rudd, Ant Man. Right. Freaking David look alike. Right. A better looking David knows who That's Tom Pelissero is. That's sweet. Crazy. It's going to be great. I was thinking. Go ahead, Zacho. No, I was just thinking about that. Uh, (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. Go ahead, Zach, too. (laughs) (laughs) Make sure you clear your throat before you sign off on the horn tonight. Zach, too, what do you want to say to uh, Tom Pelissero tomorrow? (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead, Zacho. No, I was just thinking about, like, Alan Roach, whose voice has now been heard by (sighs) literally, like, hundreds, if not billions of people. Yeah, right. And it's just, you know, just a normal dude, and he's our guy now, but... For sure. I mean, how cool is that? And obviously, yeah. I, I'm not, you know, trying to make you feel silly, but it's even it's even more... It's different, because everybody knows Tom's face. True. They probably don't know his name, you know, and they yeah. may not know his name, right, but, but they know cool, that face. I, I wonder, we should ask, or PA should ask Alan Roach the next time he has Alan Roach on. I wonder if Alan's ever gone through a drive through and be like... You know, I'd like the 20-piece nugget meal. And they're like, are you Alan Roach, the voice yeah. of the Super Bowl? I wonder if he's, how many times in his life have he has, has he been recognized solely based on his voice? Oh, I bet a lot. I yeah, wonder. He's like Especially in Colorado. you got to be a hardcore sports fan to know the name or the but voice. He's, oh, yeah. But he's iconic if you know I the know voice. voice. All your hands up. He's also the voice in Madden. He's been the voice oh, in, he's the in, oh, yeah. in stadium voice in Madden. Isn't he from here? Yes. Yeah, he listens to this station. You almost said the show, but you couldn't be sure. No, right? but no, I'm with can't you. Can't be I sure. Know. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I've met him a couple of times. Great dude. Oh, he's the best guy ever. Yeah, yeah. good dude. What a voice, man. Yeah. He's a great dude. Are uh, you done? Because I got some sure, stuff. Sure, go. Okay, cool. Um, while I'm playing the soundbite, I want you guys to think of one piece of uh, film history, not because of its net worth, but that it would mean something to you that you'd really like to have. Items up for grabs include Hannibal Lecter's mask in The Silence of the Lambs, Yoda's walking stick from Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and a hoverboard used by Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future Part Two. Costumes and props from Marvel, Harry Potter, and Jurassic Park franchises are also available for purchase. The live auction will take place Friday in Los Angeles, and absentee bidding is already underway on Studio Auction's website, which is the coordinator of the auction. I'm Brian Shook. Like, is there one movie prop that, you know, nothing like the shark from Jaws, right. something small that you'd the like The hoverboard would be badass. That's pretty cool. I'd rather yeah. have the flux capacitor than the hoverboard. I'd rather That's have the hoverboard. Cool. The hoverboard would be badass. My, my answer is the, just because it's my favorite movie, would be the weapon that Anton Chigurh uses in No Country for <laughs> Old Men. That's perfect. Something like that. That's I would awesome. love that. Yeah. Conversation piece for oh, sure. No, yep. the hoverboard in like a case in your basement would be badass. It's the hoverboard for sure. The fat suit from Nutty Professor. Yeah, you do love it. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be something else obvious we're missing. Uh, the Darth about, Vader mask. How about Gwyneth Paltrow's head? Oh, wow. Oh, that. Mm-hmm. Bathtub from Saltburn. <laughs> Calm Still down, Zach. That. Still haven't seen that. <laughs> it's need, good. Need to see that. <laughs> Why is that? Is that the Barry burn book Kiyogi from guy Mean Girls? Oh, yeah. See, that's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good one. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. They're well, going to auction a bunch of stuff off. I tried bidding on the freaking sports almanac and didn't get it. Remember that bid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried to bid on the old Negan bat from Walking Dead. Didn't get oh. that. My wife got mad that I bid on it. Well, she got mm. mad because you were in the house. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, yeah. she was mad you were talking to her. And, yeah. and she was mad that I was excited. I'm like, hey, you know uh, Negan's bat from Walking Dead? I bid on it. I was like, who are you? She's like, you seem so excited. That can't be good. Yeah. Why don't you oh, go downstairs yeah. and watch poker? Yeah. So I did. Took yeah, a nap and watched cards. Uh, sharks. They're off the coast of Florida. The group O-Search, which tracks sharks and other marine animals, says the biggest shark was a 12-foot, 1,600-pound great white named Scott, which pinged <laughs> off the Florida Keys. <laughs> Another shark was bit. tracked from the Alabama <laughs> border Scott. to the Big Bend, past Tampa and Fort Myers. A juvenile shark named Jekyll was hanging out off the East Coast, the great whites likely came from the north seeking Ooh. warmer waters. <laughs> Chris Frankman, Tampa. They usually do. <laughs> I like how they, they, they name three sharks and it's like, well, yeah. Yeah. They're, it's the ocean. Right. Paul, you were just in Cabo. Yes. Do you know if you if you walk down to the water, like put your hand in the water and then like lick your finger, if it's if it tastes like salt, that means there's sharks in the water. Right. That's right. Really? 
Yeah. Do that next time. Uh, um, I don't go in the ocean. The ocean's terrifying. Uh, the great Richard Oaknick once said, if there were dinosaurs outside, we wouldn't go play baseball. So, and what that means is that there are sharks in the water. That's their turf. We shouldn't go in there. Yeah. The same way we wouldn't go play baseball if there were dinosaurs. We were sitting out by the pool one day when we were there, and you could see a long ways away giant whales, like, breaching. They're <laughs> massive. They breach? Is that the wrong word? Well, <laughs> oh, I didn't I know. I just had like six jokes. That's yeah, me I, too. Yeah. Well, I, was, yeah, right. I wasn't in the water. No? Uh, okay. What, what, about, uh, to... what about the poor shark that's named Scott? Well, just because <laughs> he's a great white doesn't mean you need to name him Scott. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's right. Yeah. I'm right. brand, but. Yeah, what if he wanted to be Mohammed? Right. Right. I just think that, like, the other one's named Jekyll. <laughs> right. Oh. His name's Scott. Yeah, of course, <laughs> Scott. Like, that's from a person's accounting. name. Yeah, right? he's, he has glasses, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's afraid of the Dahmer documentary. <laughs> Jekyll's not. Yeah, no. Whoa. Scott's hey. a good water cooler guy, though. Yeah. Uh, a Minnesota motorsports store is making the best of its Christmas Day break-in and giving customers a break at the time. At the same time, Talsley Motorsports holding a scratch and dent sale this Saturday, trying to sell off items salvaged after a man <laughs> rode a stolen ATV oh, yeah. into their store. Oh, yeah. And caused $500,000 in damage. I forgot about that story, Zach. I know. Yeah. Uh, police arrested Austin Erickson, not the one who used to be my intern, and say he was high on drugs at the time. Among the discounted items for sale are damaged bikes, snowmobiles, and ATVs. Uh, store's also going to be selling food. But Talsley, good people and uh, a good store, so uh, you might as well take advantage of it. Right? Scratch and dent sale. Weird. It's a cool place. It is. Way to lean into the bit. Yeah, right. right? Might as well, These right? are scratched up. They're dented up. And who wants them? Yeah. Right. Cool. Uh, Why not? Yeah, right. Uh, I, you guys probably have already seen this by now, but an estimated 882 private jets flew in and out of the uh, Incredible. Vegas airport. The Las Vegas Valley, I should say, the airports there before and after the Super Bowl. 882 private jets. There's wow. so many rich people on yeah, this planet. There really are, ton. man. Man. Hmm. Uh, speaking that's of that, awesome. uh, we, we remember, I think it was even last year, talking about Lake Mead and how low it was. Oh, were yeah. bodies. Uh, Lake Mead's water level is up seven feet since the start of 2024. On Good. Wednesday, it reached 1,075 feet, which federal government considers the threshold for a water shortage. Uh, that means it is right on the cusp of getting out of that water shortage zone. A lot of rain out there on the West Coast, right? Well, we're going to be uh, yeah. in Vegas April 10th through the 13th, thanks to our friends at Treasure Island Resort uh, and Casino. Cannot wait. That'll be great. Yeah, can't wait. Hogs and I are sharing a room. And again, we yeah. announced it, what, a day or two ago, nope. but uh, power trips at that TI... March 28th and 29th. We're going to have a major, initials major on the 29th, but then that Thursday night, off-air bit, has a Rube initials game with uh, a trip to Vegas yep. to be giving away a whole bunch of other games and prizes. It's going to be fun. And if you can't wait that long to get rich, ladies and gentlemen, the Mega Millions, $800 million. 800? Wow. Right. That That's one right. snuck up. I thought Is it was that right? three or four a couple days ago. 800? That's a lot. Oh, wait, no, hold on. That's combined, Sarley. Oh, Sorry. geez. There Sarley. you go. Sarley. Nearly, Sarley. Sarley. Nearly $800 million is up for grab in America's two largest lives. There we I go. Wow. read the whole thing. Sorry. Uh, $306 million for the Powerball. Uh, that's on Saturday. And uh, $457 million tomorrow night's Mega Millions. That's still a lot. Yeah, yeah, we'll both it. of them make Marnie Gellner sick. Yeah. Oh, poor Marnie. Way too much money. Yeah. Have we phrased it with, like, the, with her? That's like a million... For like max bet spins for her, she yeah, could sit there for fun, years. <laughs> that would be so much. That fun. Would, be would a Christmas casino plan. do oh, that? Golly. Would they allow you to do that? They'll do whatever I tell them to. Wow, I got you millions. Hit the dollars. max bet a million times. No, if you, Why are they going to stop you, you? Let's just say someone like Bezos was like, "I'm not playing two grand to spin. I want to play a million dollars a spin." Do mm. you think they'd let him do that? Mm, no, there isn't a machine that has that. Well, they could. Yeah. They could. Yet. Maybe there is. Who knows? All right. Yet. Tomorrow, Sauce, you're going for the all-time wins lead. That's at 815. What are we up there? Is it 59,000? Yeah, I'm almost going to get paid, too, yeah. for that. 59,000 tomorrow as well. Uh, 530 to 9. We're back tomorrow. 9 to noon is next. See KFAN. Total traffic. From the Quick Trip Traffic Center, here's a look at the roads. The accident, third... Big delays on 694. March is on.
The 2024 TIAA Big Ten Basketball Tournaments take over Minneapolis as the Target Center hosts the annual celebration of Big Ten hoops. The women's tournament runs March 6th through the 10th, and the men's tournament tips off March 13th through the 17th. Tickets are on sale now, so head to Big10.org for more information. Be there this March as the conference's best teams compete for a Big Ten tournament title in Minneapolis. Good morning, Joe. One